This tutorial shows how to conduct a cross globalis test in SPSS and in the predates results. Its purpose is testing three or more groups for differences, or put more technical, if they originate from the same distribution or not. It is also referred to as cross globalis ANOVA and is the non parametric alternative to the one way ANOVA. In my fictitious example, I have three study groups. The first received no intervention, therefore serves as the control group. The second group used meditation, and the members of the third group had mentors. I used the Kruskal Wallace test to test for a difference in the grade point average, short GPA, between those three groups. The requirements for the Kruskal Wallace test are the following three or more independent groups and a dependent variable on at least the ordinal scale. At first, I want to see the mean and standard deviation of the GPA for my three groups. This can later be used to supplement the reporting of the results. Therefore, go through Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Explore. Put your test variable into the dependent list box and your group variable into the factor list box. In my example, the means and medians seem different enough to assume differences across the groups. The control group had the lowest, the group with mentors had the highest GPA. To conduct the Kruskal Wallace test in SPSS, navigate to Analyze, Non parametric test, Independent samples. Now you have some customization to do. Go to Fields to select your test variable by moving it to Test Fields. For my example, I chose to test the GPA. The group variable needs to go into the groups field at the bottom, which in my example is the type of intervention. Next, go to settings and select customize tests and also check the box on Kruskal Wallace one way K samples. Multiple comparisons should show all pairwise, which we will elaborate later on. Under test options, you can specify a different significance level alpha, confidence intervals and exclusion of cases when you are testing multiple variables for group differences at once. After checking all necessary boxes and options, click on Run to generate the test results. The test result will be shown at the top. You can see that the null hypothesis of equal distribution across interventions is being rejected, according to the Kruskal Wallace test. This can be seen in the p value being smaller than 0.001, which is below the predefined significance level alpha of 0.05. Testing will always be two sided, by the way. In order to do a one tail test, you have to be able to make a directional hypothesis. Kruskal Wallace is a non specific test and only tells whether there is a difference or not. Since there are several means, you can't formulate a directional hypothesis. Eventually, because of my low enough p value, I can assume some sort of group difference. After a significant Kruskal Wallace test, post hoc tests should be calculated to see between which groups differences exist. An effect size for the Kruskal Wallace test itself is optional. The two videos on the screen will show you how to do each.